this thing. Alright, welcome everyone. This is Dragon in White here, and we are back with another, uh, well, in our stream or episode of FF14, Final Fantasy 14 online. It's an MMORPG, if anyone does not know about it. Um, well, today is going to be a solo stream, and I'm going to do a bit of uh, testing on settings as well. Um, yeah, because I want to see how my CPU handles certain things, as well as like fan speed and overclocking and things like that. Uh, yeah. I've been feeling the need to upgrade my CPU, even though my CPU is pretty decent at the moment. I might wait on this. I mean, to be fair, it's more due to my um, extravagance in wanting to play in 4K and stream and record at the same time. Recording in 4K, of course. And uh, yeah, uh, system is kind of being pushed a bit hard, but I suppose that would do. Interesting. What is actually eating up my whole process? Three. Yeah, it appears that Chrome is one of the things eating up the processors. So that is one thing I might have to consider shutting down. Chrome is eating 20% interestingly. I think I'll have to consider monitoring the stream from a laptop if this is the case. Uh, yeah. Okay, for now, we'll just run with what we have and hopefully things run smooth, I hope. So today, uh, previously I kind of dual streamed to Twitch and YouTube uh, using Restream. Uh, actually, now I think about it, let me post up an update to tell people that I'm live. Um, here we go. Okay, so, and uh, yeah. So previously I was using Restream, now I'm actually going back to my old system of multi-output from OBS for better control, I think. I suspected that Restream had a bit of a strange uh, server issue with receiving and yeah hey oh I forgot to turn this off hang on I got a voice gate which I normally have on but I kind of want it on for off for this okay so today's plan I'm gonna pick up a bunch of different classes and of course work on maybe some of the quest main quests and levering up of my character but uh yeah, I want to basically pick up every single character I can in this place. I think it would be a good idea to do so. I've been kind of contemplating this for a while. So, um, in between episodes, I also kind of trained up my characters a little. Um, well, I haven't played since the last stream, but I did have... Um, done it. Um, is that... Yeah, okay, that's fine. I did... Ooh... Okay. Yeah, uh, sorry, lost my train of thoughts, but yeah, I did, uh, complete some of the crafting quests, which I think is probably going to be boring on stream anyway. So my goldsmith is now level 21, and you can see that I have this quest here, Mounding of the Mines, which is deliver and material enhanced tech horn stuff to Serendipity. Uh, Serendipity. Serendipity, yeah. Uh, the catch with this one here is that, uh, I am unable to craft due to the lack of materials and I don't want to waste money in the market buying the equipment. So I'm kind of stuck on this one for a bit. Uh, for the miners, uh, I haven't really done much on the miners but I'm pretty sure I can take up a quest. Um, yeah, level 22, I'm pretty sure the quest is available. So that's one of the things we'll pick up today. Uh, but meanwhile, let us maybe start with one of the crafting jobs because it's been a while since I did some crafting. And we'll probably just do a couple of levels of it and then we'll jump on to the next class. So, uh, Weaver's Guild. That's the one we haven't done. And it should be this way. There we go. And... Yeah, Guild Receptionist. 
Alright, greetings adventurer and welcome to the wellspring of Odan's passion. From humble thread, our peerless artisans weave wondrous dreams in fabric form. We are renowned as Eosa's finest purveyors of quality textiles and as her foremost arbiter of style. Needless to say, not such renown was not born without effort. Ours is a tremendously demanding profession, you see, but also highly rewarding one. It is little wonder that so many adventurers set their hearts upon joining us. Might you be one of them? Yes! Ah, as I thought as much, then I'm sure you are eager to learn all about our illustrious history. As I'm sure you know, Tannerland can be a perilous place if vast desert being one to punish the unprepared, while a meningery of ferocious beasts stalks the sand, the greatest foe is, of course, the midday sun. Um, and so, as ever since man first foot set foot in this region, he has favored light, flowing fabric that shield him from the sun's ray, which allow, while allowing his skin to breathe. Of course, Aldans have ever been a people of taste and demand for more extravagant design spurred innovations, resulting in textile goods whose appeal extended far beyond our borders. Merchants had little trouble selling Aldan fabric in foreign markets, so great was their reputation for beauty and quality. And when traders from those same markets sought to peddle their lesser products in Tannerland, it gave us little cause for concern. Uh, Sun Silk Tapestry is synonymous with the textile trade in Alda, you see. Those who come in here hoping to peddle cheap racks swiftly learn the price of doing business in our territory. Uh, wiser men and women with an interest in our trade choose instead to join the guild, which the, guild, which the company generously operates for the betterment of Aldan society. We offer our members the tools and techniques needed to become successful, and should they prove themselves especially skilled, they may be offered direct employment as sun silk weavers. Just imagine adventurer. Your designs could one day dictate the course of Aldan fashion. If you desire such fame and influence, then you might be granted a place with us, provided you are willing to embrace hard work. To ensure candidates can endure the rigors of our profession, our guildmaster has taken it upon himself to evaluate each one personally. When you are ready to submit yourself to his rigorous scrutiny, say the word. Let me just answer a message. Right, just speaking to one of my readers, um, for those of you who do not know, I actually translate um, Everlasting Immortal Feminine on Hosted Novel and yeah, invited them to join me in stream. Okay, now let's see, back to this. Okay. Uh, are you ready to meet the Guildmaster? First impression are everything and you do not want to present yourself poorly. Yes, excellent. Though I do wonder if your attire is appropriate for the occasion. You'll find the esteemed Rodolan Rose supervising good operations over yonder. He is... how should I put this? He is relentless in his pursuit of excellence. Sounds like a guy that I can get along with. As long as you demonstrate you are similarly committed, he will treat you fairly and with respect. Okay, way of the receive... Uh, way of the weaver accepted. And then, speak to him. What do we have here? Another adventurer in search of thrills and excitement? Shall I dance you a merry jig? No. If this fails to please you, I suggest you run along. Perhaps the woman of the Ruby Road Exchange should be more to your liking. Oh, so you mean to be a, become a weaver? Then we have something to discuss after all. I shall be blunt. Weaving is an art. And, like all true artists, we must make sacrifices and suffer for our craft. So, tell me, adventurer, are you prepared to suffer? Yes. So you say, but only time will tell. Now, here's something interesting. Uh, 
not many people know this about me, but I actually picked up knitting at one point of time. I still do it occasionally. I find it very calming, but that really takes a long time just to make even a scarf. Took me months to finish the first one. But um, yeah, I kind of understand the pain, the pains that go behind weaving, especially manually. I would say knitting is probably a more laborious version of it, possibly. Uh, as far as I understand, weaving go involves uh, sliding in the thread. Well, sliding in thread in between thread using the weaving machine. Of course, I'm pretty sure weaving in this game is not just simply making the cloth, but also making the clothes as well. In any case, you need equipment to get started. This needle should suffice for now. I need not explain what needle is, I trust. Good, hold it as you would when sewing and show me you're ready to begin. So knitting is pretty much kind of like making a piece of cloth, but also as well, but uh, doing it not by knot rather than row by row. Uh, I did it at first to um, kind of practice finger dexterity because I studied medicine, for those of you who are not aware. And uh, finger dexterity is quite important for surgeries. Okay. Well, well, you look like you were born to hold one of these. Even so, I suggest you keep it somewhere safe, especially when clamoring over haystacks, as I shan't be issuing you another. Now, you certainly look the part, but it remains to be seen if you can play it. I bid you craft me a spindle of hempen yarn. A trifling task, yes? Well, I do hope you find it so. If should it seem even remotely testing, you have no future at this guild. To make happen, Yan, you will require Moko Grass and Lightning Shard. The former can be purchased from our own dear Gigima. The latter you have to find yourself. That is all. Well, same old crafting setup and I got a feeling I have, yeah, equipment that helps. Let's see, do I have the materials for it? And locks, crafting lock. Hempen yarn. I do not. Ah, right. I believe I probably need to be like a herbalist or something to collect that. Uh, actually, just let me check what can I get in Audan. Uh, FF14. Auda classes. Okay, so I can be an archer, gladiator, lancer, marauder, fugitive, and rogue. And then arcanist, conjurer, and thaumaturge. So for this, I can be an alchemist, armorer, blacksmith, carpenter, culinarian. That doesn't seem right. I don't think I could be a blacksmith for armor here. Maybe this is wrong. Uh, let's see. Jobs. There we go. Starting location. Gladiator is Aldan. Vugilis. And Tomaturge. And then... I can do Dex D. Okay. Samurai and Red Mage as well, but that's level 50. And those are the expansions, so skipping past that. Um, what else do I have? Uh, this only goes with combat. Mm. Classes. Maybe this one. Uh, okay, let's see. I can be a 
gathering class is minor fisher botanist which uh since there's only three i got a feeling that they are at all three different locations so yep no no chance of being a botanist then uh as for crafting there are eight of them which means there's a chance of having two or three here um okay so alchemist is here alchemist goldsmith which i've already done and weaver Yeah, looks like Looks like I only got that few options then So looks like I'm gonna have to buy the items Okay Well, back to this then Uh, Moko grass Just probably gonna buy a couple just to fulfill the requirements Now, I got a feeling this is going to be the same as the goldsmith. Yep. Same old method. Okay. And we'll probably just run this until the point where I have to grind. Okay, let's see. Gigima can provide the Moko grass, but you must procure the lightning shards. Or oh, do you have have you made your yarn already? Yes. Take it all, take it all, come on. Oh, we made two. Okay. Well, bless my soul. He can follow basic instructions. So it seems you have grabbed the fundamentals. Good boy. Okay. That's very condescending. Yarn and cloth may be mere materials, but they must be crafted with no less care than a whole garment. For though the finest garments are greater than the sum of their parts, their parts are invariably the finest. Do remember this, dragon, and you as you continue your training. Practice making yarn and other simple items and return once you have attained a basic level of proficiency. Tedious, I grant you, but necessary. And you did tell me you were ready to suffer. Right, so next one is at level 5. Oh, I got a bunch of moko grass. Okay, you know what? We'll let's kind of like sit through this until level five and do the next quest, since we have the capability of um, doing it pretty fast, I believe. And I should save this set. Okay. So, um, very simply, crafting. Yep, I don't think I have any um, skills related for increasing quality yet. So, all I can do is basic synth synthesis. Okay, so that's two spindles and just keep going for a bit. I got a feeling if I yeah if I make this I'll probably have pretty a much faster efficiency yeah level four and then if I make this. Because, you know, first time making an item gives you a lot of extra XP. There we go. And basic touch. 
Okay, next one. Back so soon? Very well, let's resume your training. Last we spoke, you doubtless have spent your time making the basic products of our trade, namely yarn and cloth. Now I will have you take such basic components and craft whole garments from them. Make me three pairs of hempen breeches and present them for my inspection. You will begin working with hempen cloth and yarn this time, as well as a bit of uh, a little bit of leather. Gigima can furnish you with the materials to get you started. Ah, but as eager as I am to see the fruit of your labor, it will be remiss of me not to mention that there are more economical methods of procuring that which you need. For example, the moko grass from which you have been dutifully making yarn can be freely gathered out in the wild. That said, one can't simply rip it out of the ground with one hand, one's hand. Uh, a scythe is needed as well as a working knowledge of botany. Have you the chance make the acquaintance of a bot botanist or two? If not, I heartily recommend you do. They are attractively earthy without seeming dirty and useful besides. Having said all that, I will not accept a new profound passion for botany and its executioner. Oh, okay. As an excuse for the late delivery of your breeches. So don't keep me waiting. Okay. Alright, so this is the last quest I'm doing for this. Uh, last quest I'm doing for this. This. For this class, yeah. So I just got distracted and I wanted to see whether I have things that help. These are hands, yeah, hands. And pro plus six. These are aura fists, okay. So I will want to equip this. This is good. Okay, so. Three bridges. Let's um uh, see what we need and then go for it. Mm, not on the first page. Here, Hampton. Next amateur bridge. No, maybe first page. I must have missed it. Is it this? Hempen breeches. Maybe just to be sure. Ah, that was close. Very close. Okay, let's see. Uh, I need three, so I'm gonna need six cloth. Um, six cloth, three yarn. Three ladder. I got a ladder already. Okay, so in that case, it shall be six cloth. Ah, wait, wrong button. Um. Oh, I gotta make the yarn first. Right. Okay, so from what I recall, I could just do this. One. Not that it really matters at this point of time, right? I suppose if I make something high quality, I do get more XP, so that should help. Okay, so uh, I need some refreshing of memory, uh, three spindles, so I need four more cloth. To make cloth, I need two. So I need to make four, five, six more sets of this. Okay.
Well, this is uh, a little grindier than I expected. Well, I kind of knew it was going to be grindy, but um, I could technically just rush through this by just making this instantly. But, you know, let's try to make the best out of this. So that's two, um, three. And four. Hopefully my I did math it correct. There's a chance whereby I actually mathed it wrong. Okay, let's just be sure. I mean, I have now four. So, yeah, I'm gonna need another set of two to make, and then three more. Okay. Ooh, high quality. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, good. I like that one. Uh, the skill seems to be exactly the same as the the one for the ghost myth actually. So this is literally just ghost myth, but instead of doing dealing with gold, I'm dealing with cloth. Now was that three? And that's 100% is guaranteed that. So let's see up one more. Okay, that should be all the cloth I need and I think looking at this I do have sufficient so that should be done I think. One two one two one two one two yep. Okay so this is my plan. Uh I kind of don't want to carry too much things on hand. So what I will do is I'm gonna try to make as high a quality as I can, even though I know it doesn't matter to the guild master. Okay, of, I think I better run one basic synthesis first before I forget. I am very prone to forgetting. Master's men. Ninety-two. That's actually pretty close. 
Can I get it? I can. Okay, good. That's one. Now I don't have any more for that, so I'm just gonna burn away the high quality thread. to make so let's see two four one there okay mm. start with synthesis before I forget There we go. That is done. Now back to the guild master. I take it the bridges are ready. Uh, one. Eh, yeah, well, high quality. Take it. Proceed with trade. Not bad, dragon. Not bad at all. This style of legwear has never been particularly fashionable, nor has its nor has its design changed significantly over the years. Fluctuating lengths aside, but I digress. I wondered if you might try for a variation on the conventional design, but I see you opted for orthodoxy, a wise decision in this case. Handpan clothing is inexpensive and durable, making it popular among farmers, miners, and others who work the land. Now, here's something interesting. Jin started off as clothing for miners because they did something durable. It's kind of the same concept behind this uh, hempen clothing. Such customer value comfort and mobility over all else. Uh, they may appreciate more elegant forms, but they will not sacrifice function for them. Each garment has a purpose, Dragon. A purpose that you should always bear in mind. A scallop hem is about as useful to a miner as nipples on a gladiator's breastplate. Okay, um, hmm. are nipples on a breastplate useful? I don't know. Hmm. Now then, having completed your latest task, I believe you earned this spinning wheel. Yay! More things to equip. Use it in combination with your needle and your work will benefit from it. Saying that, it will, of course, take you a little while to become accustomed to using the tools altogether. You need not worry though, I fully intend to give you ample opportunity to acquire the knack. In fact, I won't be teaching you anything else until you have. By that time, that spinning wheel feels like it belongs By the time that spinning spinning wheel feels like it belongs in your hand, I dare say I will have thought of a new task for you. Until then, my boy. Alright, and certain gear, yeah I know that already, yes, yada yada. Oh boy, I forgot what I don't have. What do I not have? I suspect I don't have boots. I suppose that's a, way, a good way of collecting sets of equipment. Okay, let's equip everything. And recommended gear. Update this set. And I think that shall be it for today. Well, not for the stream, but for the uh, YouTubes. Because, you know, I'm also recording for YouTubes. And I think this has reached a sufficiently, sufficiently long length. Meanwhile, let me just sell away some things which I don't need at the moment. Okay. Uh, wait. I think I can sell away this ring, right? I'll 
nothing about it. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I gotta sell this as well. And sell the bunch of money. A vendor, that's fine. Rock sword, that's fine. Okay, that's good. Alright, so for those of you on YouTube, I'll see you guys next time. For those of you on stream, do hang around. We'll still continue on with the next class. And, uh, you know, a small plug for those of you on YouTube, do check out my the novel that I am translating on hostednovel.com. Um, Everlasting Immortal Permanent, the link is down in the description below. There's also the previous project which I've completed and it's completely free to read. Uh, that one is Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation, about 2,300 chapters or so. It will last you quite a while if you actually do, do start. And uh, yeah, you know, link to my, if you'd like to support me, you know, Patreon and whatnot, there are and affiliate links uh, all down in the description below. And of course, as always, you know, subscribe and like the video. Okay, let me just stop the recording there.